Hi friends, I'm Adaftar from Easy Approach and it's the 27th video of Flutter video series. In this video, we'll talk about data persistency. In some conditions, we need to save small data permanently in our application so that we can get it even if the application is closed and reopened. For this purpose, we have shared preferences. So shared preferences is used to store small data permanently. It means even the application is closed and then reopen, you can get the same data that you have saved. But where we need to use this shared preference? Suppose you installed some application and you open it first time. Then you might see a welcome screen or some sort of animation that actually directs you how to use the app. But if you open it second time, you just see a home page and you don't see the welcome screen and the animation. So how the application know that you are visiting either first time or a not first time? So actually there is a place where the application save the information about the user visiting either it says first time or not and that is the place you can consider shared preferences. So whenever the application is started it first get the save information uh, from the shared preferences about the user visiting and then it behaves accordingly or it renders the UI accordingly. Now let's implement the same thing that we have just discussed using shared preferences. So we basically have three different screens in our application. The first screen is this main screen where we just have a flat button at the center of the screen. And you can think this screen as a splash screen. And when the user would tap on this flat button or whenever this on press is called, uh, we'll navigate to the second screen. And now we have two different screen as well. The second one is this welcome screen and we have a third screen that, that is actually home screen. And we just need to show this welcome screen only to the users that are actually visiting the application for the first time on, or who are actually visiting the application for the first time. And if the, if the user is not visiting uh, the application for the first time, we just need to show this home screen instead. So what we'll do, we'll first get uh, the data uh, from the shared preferences inside this on press. And based on the data that we have saved uh, initially, we'll, uh, we'll navigate to uh, the uh, to the screen but first of all you need to add the dependency for the shared preferences so go inside the publspec.yaml file and just add this line and this would add the shared preferences in your application and now you can access or you can use the shared preferences now we need to do two different things the first one we need to get the data from the shared preference uh, the data actually the visiting data and the second one is to we need to save the data in to the shared preference so we'll make basically two function uh, or two method one to save the data in the shared preference the visiting data and one to get the data uh, from the shared preference so now let's make two different methods so initially I'm making a method for getting the data from the shared preference so you just name here get or visiting flag or you can give any name and just make this function and now initially to get the data or to save the data in both of the cases we first need to get the instance of the shared preference so you can get the instance of the shared preference by calling shared preference dot get instance now we'll write here shared preferences which is actually the type and you can give any name and you can get the instance by calling shared preferences dot get instance but you can see here an error it's because this shared preferences or dot get instance is actually a future that returns you the shared preference. So it's actually a future. And as you know, future is something that returns the value in future. It does not return. It does not return the value uh, just it is called. It returns the value after some time it is called. So we basically need to tell the flutter here that actually we are dealing with a future and it will return you uh, some value in future. So we basically need to wait here uh, for this feature to return the value so that we can assign to this variable. So for this, we need to use here a wait operator. So it actually tells the flutter, hey bro, it's actually we are uh, dealing with the future and it will return you some value in future. So we basically need to wait here so that we can assign it to the uh, variable that is at the left hand, left hand side. So we basically need to use here a wait and since you are using here a wait we need to make this function asynchronous by writing here async and now you are good to uh, you good to read or write whatever you want now let's read the data or get the data from the shared preference 
as we'll be getting some boolean uh, data because we'll be saving uh, some boolean flag for visiting in the shared preferences we are making here a bool variable and just give any name you want and now you can get the data from the shared preferences by calling preferences dot get bool and as we are getting the boolean data we are calling here get bool but we have different options as well like get double and get and get a string so if we are saving a, get a double data we can get it by get double or same with others but we are here just using get bool and now you need to give here the key actually key is a string value by which you uniquely identify the data in the shared preference so we basically in order if if you want to save for multiple data in the shared preference we need to give a unique key to each and every data and we will get the data uh, by giving the same key that we have saved with so we just need to give the key here and you can give any key like already visited but since we haven't stored any data or any value in the shared preferences with this key so this would initially return us null and if it returns us null it means the user has not visited the application before because if he had visited the application we would have set it the value for this already visited key so what we need to do in that case when the user has not visited the application we need to uh, save uh, false in the already visited so what we can do we can use here null aware operator and we can assign false to it so what null aware operator does first it check the value uh, before the null aware operator and if it is not null it assigns the value uh, which is before uh, the null aware operator to the uh, uh, variable that is at the left, left hand side but if the value or the expression uh, that is before this null of aware operator which is this get bool is null then this null aware operator assign uh, what is after this null aware operator that is false to the variable already visited so this is how it works now we need to uh, we have done with this get visit flag uh, uh, function and now we need to make the set visiting flag because once the user has visited the application you need to set or you need to update the value in the shared preferences with this key or you need to update the value from false to true because he has successfully visited so what we can do we need to make another function for uh, for uh, setting the value in the shared preferences so just give any name i'm giving set visiting flag and you need to make it async as well so that we can initiate or we can get the instance of shared preference and you just need to call or you just need to write the code for getting the instance of uh, the shared preference and now you need to set the value in the shared preference so you can set the value by calling preferences dot set bool as we are setting the boolean data and now you need to give here key and the corresponding value so it's basically a key value pair in which uh, it actually stored the value so what we need to do we need to give here the same key by which we are getting the data here so I can cut and copy and paste and now you need to give the the value that you want to store with this key so as after the user has successfully visited we need to update from false to true so that is the reason why I gave here true and now we have done with both of the methods or both of the functions now we can call the get visiting flag inside the on press and based on the visiting flag that we'll receive uh, from uh, the shared preferences will render or will navigate to the screen but one thing that i've missed we need to return here the already visited and now we can call this get visiting flag inside the on press so basically it would return you a boolean bool data actually so you need to make a bool variable and just name anything you want uh, like visiting flag you can give any name and now since this method is also a synchronous method and it is using await so we need to use await here as well and now you can call this get visiting flag and since you are using here await you need to make this on press method asynchronous as well and now you are good to proceed now you need to check if the visiting flag or true or false and if it is true it means the user has visited at the application uh, before and it's not his first time so we we basically need to navigate in that case to the home screen and if it would return you false it means the user has not visited before and we need to navigate to the welcome screen so we just need to check if visiting flag is equals to true it's the case
it's actually the case when the user is not visiting for the first time and we have a case for the false so it's actually the case when the user is visiting for the first time and now we can just use here navigator dot off and in here you need to pass context and you can use push and you can use material page root it's actually to navigate to the different screen and now you can give builder inside the builder you have to pass your context and you just need to return uh, the screen uh, on which you want to go so we are basically need to go on the home home screen actually so i just need to pass your home and in this case you just need to pass here welcome a screen since the user has not visited before and we need to navigate to the welcome screen first so this is it and we need to do one thing that we have missed because here the use we we have uh, we have actually got the value or the flag uh, uh, through which we are actually identifying that the user has visited so we now after this line we can change or we can set the visiting flag so just call this method so it would uh, set the it would update the value in the visiting flag with this uh, key from false to true because user has visited and after uh, this after a second time we uh, on the second time uh, when we run the application it would uh, give the updated value so now let's run this application so actually i haven't visited the application and it's my first time so it should proceed me to the uh, to the welcome screen so now let's proceed and you can see welcome to app you are visiting for the first time and if uh, let's say i close this application and now if i rerun it so it should uh, proceed me to the home screen since i have visited the application before so if I click here or or tap on it, it should proceed me to the uh, to the home screen. So if I click here, you can see this is the home page of the application. So this is how you can store the data in the shared preferences uh, on actually permanent basis. Uh, the data will not uh, uh, remove uh, once uh, the application is closed. So you can also set uh, a string values. You can also set integer and you can do the string list as well uh, based on your needs. So this is it from this video. Uh, this is a very important topic that we have learned. And in the next video, we'll combine all the things that we have learned so far and we'll make a practical application. And that would be so fun for you guys. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and share the videos with those who want to learn flutter with easy approach so thank you for watching